everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i am currently in my parents holiday let which is a bungalow and i'm in it because me and jamie came here for the weekend because there was no guests in this weekend which was very very lucky so we're very happy about that because it saves me some money but yeah we came here and i thought i'd film a little video i did actually film a vlog being here so i think that will be up if not it's coming soon um but yeah i thought i would film a q a so i've got some questions got some champagne i'm joking it's not champagne it's um chaleur so if you like chaleur as well then we can be friends um if you don't then we can't first question is from actually i won't read out the names of who it's from but i've got them up on my laptop over here the first question says where do you like to travel or where would you like to travel so i am not really a travelly person like I don't ever want to I don't know like I would like to go on like a holiday each year but for me I don't want or get the urge to want to go traveling because I just I like my routines I like things to be you know organized and just like I like to wake up in the morning and have a routine and go to work things that are spontaneous to me I'm not so keen on like so, you know, I'm not a travelling person, but if I did have a holiday, say once a year or once every two years or something, I would like to go to New York. I would really like to go there. I'd like to go to, to be honest, I really actually think just America, if I'm honest. Like, I don't really have any interest to go anywhere else. Like, I actually don't. I, I would like to go to America though. That is somewhere I'd like to go. So um, maybe at some point, but I need a passport because I don't have a passport. So the next question is from a family member of mine and he said rank your family members or rank the family. Um, right, well, where shall we begin? Um, he is at the bottom. No, I'm joking. Um, I can't really rank my family members. Um, my hamster is at the top, that's what I know. Fertile, my hamster is at the top. Um, then it's my previous hamsters that are now deceased one of them is actually buried in the garden of this holiday let um so hey dean bless his little soul but yeah um yeah i'm not gonna rank my family members but nice try uh next question is how do you stay motivated so i don't always stay motivated and i don't think there is such a thing as somebody who constantly stays motivated and it's not really normal to be always motivated but i think when you're dedicated to something or you show an interest in something or you just are really strict with yourself then you will stay consistent with something and that is when the motivation kicks it so the motivation's at the start so you've got motivation for something like you know you might be motivated to gain some muscle the motivation will always be at the beginning and then you have to be dedicated you have to be strict with yourself and when you say oh i can't be bothered to work out today or oh i just want to eat sweets all day that's when it should kick into your head and you should be like no i know my goals i'm going to be strict with myself and you won't have that won't be motivation that will be you just being really really strict with yourself and just sticking to it and then eventually things when you stick to them constantly become a habit and that is then when habits just come natural to you and it's easy and you don't need motivation so my tips to stay motivated if we come back to the actual question would be to just try and have a little bit more self-control and just be strict with yourself. I think as long as everything in your life is organised, um, if everything in your life is organised, then things just feel a little bit easier. Like if you live in an environment that's tidy and clean, your mind feels more tidy and clean, and then you can focus more on your goals, and that helps with motivation. Wake up a little bit earlier, start drinking coffee, you know? No, I'm joking, you don't have to drink coffee, but um, I think just you know having the energy to do things helps as well so having the energy to be motivated i can't really help i'm sorry okay next question says what is your proudest moment right i have two my first one was from when i was in my gcse's where i did a i think it was part of my english exam it was a speaking and listening exam i had i had to give a 10 minute talk about 
a topic of my interest so anything people in the class some people spoke about football some people spoke about you know I don't know the favorite restaurants like just random things I thought I'm going to talk about something that I'm quite passionate about I spoke about an anxiety disorder that I had when I was growing up as a child which was selective mutism I have actually made a video on this channel about that so go and watch that if you want to but I think I will do an updated video anyway but I did have that and I decided to make my little talk about that and that whole thing and I got the highest mark in the class for that and that was me speaking for 10 minutes non-stop about a condition where selective mutism is where basically you can't talk and thankfully at that point I had recovered from it but I looking back I think that's one of my proudest moments because I was there speaking solidly for 10 minutes about having an anxiety disorder where I couldn't speak and where I really struggled with social situations where I would be anxious constantly I would dread things to the point where I just felt like crying a lot and yeah I just thought to get the highest mark in the class as well is quite something um, considering what I was talking about so yeah that was a proud moment but I actually think quite recently something has topped that and that was doing my driving test that that was my proudest moment I was the happiest anyway that's what I'm gonna say I was the happiest because I did my driving test I did it with zero lessons with an instructor I did not have an instructor at all and I did make a video on this so go and check that video out if you want to know how I managed to do my driving test with like no lessons um I did pass the third time though just little disclaimer um but I was so happy like I've never been that happy before when I passed my test because I just thought this is literally the start of me being able to drive myself to work to go where I want to go just to go to the shops and put my shopping in the car so yeah I was so happy with that so yeah um another person asked uh, where is your job? No, what is your job? Um, yeah, by the way, I won't be able to answer all of these questions. So I'm sorry if I don't answer your question. I'm just picking a few. Um, so yeah, my job. So my job is agricultural, which is completely the opposite of what I ever thought I would do. I thought that I wanted to be an accountant, not because I actually had interest in accountancy, but because I didn't know what else to do. And I studied accounting and finance at uni and it's because I was good at math, so I thought, great. I thought accounting, that's a good job to have, pays well, and also it's a good skill to have if you ever wanna own your own business or if you are just in jobs in general, I think it's a good skill to have to understand finance a bit more. So yeah, when I started a summer job at the place I'm currently working at, I start I immediately really loved it like I started to realize that this is something I'm interested in this is something that I want to do that office an office job is not for me whatsoever at all and I think sometimes you don't realize that you're interested in something until you do it and I think that's quite sad because I never would have known that I liked this kind of thing but yeah I, I didn't think I was like um the kind of person that would like manual things or you know like a lot of the time we do go into the fields and we pull plants out of the ground and sometimes it's tiring doing these things but I enjoy it like I really love um, doing like the physical side to things and for me I think my favorite part of the job is the physical tasks I just like them and I never thought that I would be like that because I've never been a sporty person um, but yeah so I the company I work for deals with seeds and I work specifically um, with barley um, I'm not going to talk about my specific job description because I literally do so much random things um, but yeah it's great I like it here another question says do you still do your workouts so uh, your at-home workouts so yes I do I don't do them as regular because obviously when I well not obviously but when I'm working I do often get a little bit tired so sometimes I just can't be bothered to work out when I get home but most of the time I do do like a 10-15 minute workout when I'm home I do workouts from Lucy Wyndham Reed, Rebecca Louise, Pamela Reef, a channel called Mad Fit and yeah i would just do various things online that i see sometimes i would just sort of grab my weights or my resistance bands and things and i would just use them and not watch any videos and just do my own thing but i think when i'm following a video it just pushes you a little bit more i don't need the gym like i'm not saying like i'm i'm absolutely perfectly fit and healthy but i'm saying i don't want to go to the gym because i don't you know you can 
be healthy and fit without going to the gym you can do at home workouts it depends what kind of goals you have but i don't want to get hench so i don't need to go to the gym for all the weights and things but i guess some people get more motivated to work out when they go to the gym but yes what is your future goals so my future goals that is an interesting question my future goals is actually this is true in one of my last videos when i filmed my future goals it was to pass my driving test i've done that i've done that um next i want to buy a house so i want to save up to buy a house that is my next goal um it will take a while but that is a goal i also want to try really hard in the job that i'm currently doing because i really enjoy it that's the second goal um i really want a bunny rabbit but i don't like I want to give it the best possible life that I can like with my hamster I built a big cage so that I was able to um, look after him properly he had more space but with a bunny I don't have a grassy area outside so it wouldn't be able to go and run outside and I just don't want to put it through that so I need to wait till I actually buy a house so that I can have a bunny rabbit which is sad but yeah anyway so that is going to be the last question that i'm answering for this q and a uh there is more questions but i will save that for another one yeah, i'm gonna sit enjoy my chaleur potentially edit this video i'm actually going out for some drinks tonight but i'm not drinking um because i'm driving so very good i'm very good um but yeah oh also i just remembered something um, when I answered a question about travel at the start of this video, I didn't even mention that my friend Emma has literally gone travelling for a whole year. So, I just, I don't know why I didn't mention that. But yeah, Emma, Emma if you're watching, Emma and her boyfriend Sam, I went to their leaving party recently. They've gone travelling for a year, they've literally been gone for just over a week and a year. That is a long time, but yeah, they're definitely going to have a good time. Like, they've got so many places they're going to go to and uh, yeah, hope you're doing well Emma. I doubt she's watching this because she ran out of time to watch these videos, but you can watch it when you get back in a year's time. Right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, turn the notifications on, um, give the video a thumbs up and um, comment any comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!